It is about the uh, statement and the letter uh, issued by uh, Bharata Premachandra, uh, Lakshman Premachandra, the, the murdered uh, politician from Colombo district, uh, actually, uh, who was one of the most prominent uh, uh, at that time, uh, Mr. Mahindra Rajapaksa's government, Colombo district uh, politicians, because uh, such a Colombo district politician had a chance to emerge uh, as a future leader in Sri Lanka, especially. Uh, because uh, we know that um, the loyal supporters of Mahindra Rajapaksa's government that time, they are from down south. Uh, so only government uh, member who had uh, rooted support from the Colombo district of uh, Mr. Mahindra Rajapaksa was uh, Bharata Lakshman Premachandra, similar to the personality of President Ranasinghe Premadasa. So Bharata Lakshman Premachandra had a future career ahead uh, of him. Uh, however, the situation is uh, now, uh, when we look at the letter released uh, by uh, his daughter Hirunika Premachandra to uh, President Gotabe Rajapaksha probably yesterday night, a detailed letter, uh, we can observe that uh, certain things which are controversial on, written on, his, on her letter, specifically uh, Hirunika Premachandra unethically, uh, criminally mentions about uh, President Gotabaya's uh, granddaughter that we know that uh, President Gotabaya's uh, daughter-in-law uh, Sehuwandi and his own son uh, Manoj gave birth to a daughter, little daughter in USA. So uh, Hirunika Premachandra has no uh, ethical law, legal law, any other uh, you know action to mention uh, about a President's daughter President's uh, daughter-in-law's, uh, you know, family or President Gotabia's uh, 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 granddaughter on her letter regarding the Duminda Silva's release. And also, not only that, Hirunika Premachandra mentions about her own uh, children. I think uh, she has two kids. One is Yohendra and another uh, child, which I don't know the name of him, the, this particular second child. So, but then uh, this is a typical uh, you know vishaka vidyalaya educated uh, you know the uh, behavior uh, of uh, students because uh, we know that uh, vishaka vidyalaya uh, is named after vishaka vishaka means the uh, the highest uh, lady or the woman or a female follow of the Gautama Buddha. Vishaka is someone who had given up her family and uh, became like a self-appointed herself during the time of Gautama Buddha as the chief, uh, you know, the lay uh, woman to the uh, uh, that time the Gautama Buddha. There is there's no position like the uh, but uh, Vishaka got a, uh, you know, self-appointed herself as the chief lay woman follower of the Gautama Buddha. So this type of a heritage tradition the Vishaka Vidyalaya I think follows and we can see that obviously from the students like Hirunika uh, Premachandra, a former student of uh, Vishaka Vidyalaya. Uh, so I think uh, Mr. Nama Rajapaksha tried to uh, justify the release of uh, uh, this uh, Duminda Silva is very controversial because Duminda Silva had been a, a drug a trader. He is not a drug lord as such but he is a drug, prominent drug trader in Kalambo district uh, and throughout Sri Lanka. Uh, uh, with regard to heroin that time, so uh, and and uh, on the uh, Mr. Nama Rajapaksha justifying the re uh, pardon uh, given to uh, Dubinda Silva on the grounds of uh, uh, you know the secret telephone conversations of Ranjan Ramanaika with the particular judges who had mentioned about the pressure on them to take Dubinda Silva into a life in uh, you know uh, imprisonment and also like a uh, conviction by the High Court and then uh, subsequently affirmed by the Court of Appeal and Supreme Court uh, is not acceptable because those conversations Ranjan Ramanayaka has uh, recorded illegally one without informing the particular person with whom he had the telephone conversation because we know according to the international law uh, on international ethics uh, on the same Western countries 
the Roman Catholic countries who are, since all parties, Dominda Silva, uh, Ranjan Ramanayak, uh, uh, Nama Rajapaksha, in that case his mother is a Roman Catholic. So uh, all people involved in this case has a Roman Catholic background. So their own, uh, you know, ancestral countries in the Europe and America make it unethical, illegal, unfair to record telephone conversations uh, without informing the party on the other side that they are recording the conversation so such conversations are not cannot be are not uh, a basis to justify the uh, release as mentioned by mr namal rajapaksha uh, 